Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting number 39. As always, we are recording these things on September 4th, 2014. About three months left in this year, right? September, four. October, November, December. All right, four. But does December really count for doing work? Anyway. Uh, triage, open discussion on progress, questions, comments, just like last week, just like the week before it. I think like the week before it, we're kind of getting towards that end of the line for stuff. Um, and hopefully we've unblocked other stuff, which we will talk about in time. But before we get to all that stuff, let's cover the, the um, triage stuff. You ready, Bob? I think I am. All right. Look at all that stuff. <laughs> a few more bugs than desired, but um, I guess two of them are feature requests, so that's something. Huh? Key, not valid use in specified state. When installing 3.8 or 3.9, hmm. There so far has been no response from my request for logs. Um... Yeah, I don't know what to do with this. Um, I assume that's like a .NET error message. Oh, you think so? Pretty yeah, sure. we, we don't have enough information to even know where it's not installing at. It's like, is this failing to install .NET Framework? Or what? Um... Let's post another comment, maybe? Oh, actually, you know, I, I wonder if this is, uh, I wonder if this is due to the bad hotfix. Oh, that could be interesting. So, uh, why don't we uh, ask for logs again and give them a little bit of what that hotfix number was, if we can find it real quick. Toss it in here and say, hey, logs would help a lot, but do you by happen chance have this on your machine? If so, you may be hitting this problem that everybody's hitting. Yeah, that works for me. All right, let's do it. That'll, that's a nice way of us basically saying, dude, logs. Yeah. Without saying just, dude, logs. All right. File component element. Bob, this is right up your alley. Component file. I think is what we were calling it a long time ago, but whatever. File component component file, whichever way it goes. I'm still kind of meh on this idea. I mean, I'm, I appreciate the desire to collapse things, but I guess components are more important to me than that. They should stick around, but that's me. Yeah, I go back and forth on this one. Uh, since we did all the simplification in in three dot whatever, three zero and three five, well, and I'm all for simplification. It's just simplification with like no side effects is better than simplification with side side effects. For I sure. Just worry about this one. That's all. <clears throat> well, the nice thing about this one is that it solves the problem that I see, I still see coming up every once in a while. It's like, you, if you do, you know, component file and tag, um, and you you want to add files later, then you get back into the whole, well, which gets the key path, which is, you know, uh, which is the correct uh, key path file. How do you do it without changing things? Oh, now you can't use star goods. I, I like something, well, and we've had this discussion about the major upgrade element where, you know, the original idea is here, let's cover the 80% scenarios really, really easily, and we just kind of let it grow and grow and grow. This is one of those things, well, what if we just did, you know, this is a single file component, boom, you're done. There's no IDs that you can specify. Everything is automatic, and if it doesn't fit your model, then, well, okay, you go back to the three lines of XML rather than the one. 
yeah, it just doesn't cover my concern that components are more important. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Well. That's it. That's that's. I, I just get stuck there. Yeah, I know. Uh, the problem is components are important, but no one wants them to be important. Ah. <laughs> yes. Different problem. Problem. It is. Different problem. <laughs> yes. I have no solution to this. I guess I should add my comment to this feature. Um, we could put it in 4x. Um, yep, it's additive. The question is it, I guess we could put it in 3x. <laughs> True. But I don't think we should. No, it's. I, I'm just I, so not up on this feature. I have a hard time trying to say, yeah, we should do this because components are too important, and I, I understand people want to not think about them, but they're too important. Well, they they are important, but I, I do think for the again for the for the you know all default case of component and file, you look at it and you go, why are we nesting this thing under component? Because components are important, but yeah, you know, it's it's a hard sell. Yeah. Well. Uh, all right. Well, I can add my comment to this, and we could put it in four X. I guess. Okay. Yeah. I mean, do add your comment. Um, I'm. I don't know. I'm. I'm torn. I, I would like to see this as a. Is a very simple case only. Um, just because I like the idea that you know we can simplify the really simple cases simply. Right. Yeah. Share all the relevant attributes. No, you don't want to share all the relevant attributes because a lot of them. Right. Yeah. Right, and, and that's that's the opposite of what I'm suggesting. Yes, I know. I don't want to. I don't want to do you know a Mondo huge component with a bunch of attributes. No, this is for simple cases only. Yeah. Uh, I'll add a comment <laughs> to that. All right. I'll, 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 I'll let me get mine in there first, and you can do your. Okay. Own. We'll we'll put this in four X, and we can go from there. All right. Nobody's giving us any other feedback. We're all like asleep out there. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. John, yes, that was that the KB number I was talking about. Yes. All right. Busted one. Give unique file ID element. This is underway in four. If this doesn't work already in four, it's going to. Um. Really. Yes. Uh, with inline directory syntax, this is getting fixed. Because the directory contributes to the ID of the file? Right. That's right. It will. If it doesn't already, it will. Interesting. You really need to do, and, and it really comes down to, you really need to do this if you do inline directory syntax plus with all the private variables and stuff like that, such that if you have two files with the same name that get installed to do different directories, it really messes things up if the ID doesn't get set for you in a way that makes them not collide. Uh, I don't disagree. I'm a little concerned that it's a behavior change that might be unexpected. Well, that's why it's in four. Well, yes. But I'm there's a concerned. bigger behavior change in four that makes this OK, in that if you don't specify an ID, your ID is private. Right. Which means that if you're depending on the default behavior of the ID of a file being able to be used because it was set to the name of the file, that wasn't going to work anyway because it's going to be private. That's fair. OK. No, you're right. You're right. Uh, file ID. Yes, that's fine. File IDs are still used externally, but that's an explicit thing when you use the, you know, the bracket hash or the. Yep. OK, cool. Um, so then what do we want to do with this? So, yeah, so you could put this in 4.0 and give it the fire giant because there are people there working on it. All right. 
if it this may have actually where I don't I don't remember I'm not keeping track of that feature close enough but this may already work in 4.0 but go ahead get to and I'll make sure it works okay. if it doesn't it will net effects 451 fails to install .NET framework really it was already installed Um, I think Sean uh, figured out the, the um, real problem. I asked for a log, and Sean figured it out from what was provided. The bits that were provided. Um, yeah. So the the problem, if you look at the plan line, the default was present, and the BA requested none, and it's because there's a mismatch in the ah. correct package ID. So no bug here. And so they want documentation. Okay. Hey, Sean, any chance you want to take a shot at documentation for this? I'm not even sure what documentation is needed. Okay. We already have it in the, the yes. Now, the, the trick with the payloads is neat, though. That's, uh, that's not documented. In fact, it threw me because I'm like, what the hell is that? Um, what he's doing is using the built-in NetFX uh, package group, but the package group, you know, we, we don't have one that says download. Um, so adding the payloads in the path that the existing package group expects means that you can actually uh, use the existing authoring and include the, the NetFX installer with your bundle. Which, like I said, not documented, and it threw me until I figured it out. And then oh, 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 the fact that you can... Right, the fact that you can... I see, so the fact that... Because burn looks locally and doesn't go right. to the internet, and that's what's exactly. happening. That behavior, exactly. right? So yep. it goes, oh, I found this file locally. I don't need to go to the internet. Yep. Yep. As long as you use the path that the package, the exe package has uh, defined, then you're good to go. Um. So we just need to make sure that we actually stick with that. Um. And, and I kind of like Jacob's idea of just having an example. Um, but we don't actually have any at the present time, so. Um, yeah, that's interesting. I don't know exactly where this would go. Um, the how-to? That's, yeah, that's my thinking. And then a link to it from various places that would care about it. Yep. Although, yeah. Okay, yeah, we already have. I think we have. Yeah. How to install the .NET framework using burn. Right, so enhance that. Yep. Uh, Jacob, yeah, that will show up in the chum for free. All right. Um, so this turns into a doc bug to enhance that to talk about storing the readers thing locally. Yes. Um, okay, or do you want a separate bug and kill this bug? Either way, I'm good. I'll change the title. change the title, I suppose. Um, all right. And of course, I've... Oh, there it is. Thought I lost my mouse. Now, do we want to take this... Well, I guess this kind of gets to our next uh, agenda item. Um, I would take this in 3.9 since it's a doc change, easy enough. Uh, but I wouldn't, say, hold the release of 3.9 for it. Um... True, I guess it won't make the chum file if we don't rebuild again. Right. 
And it could make the web at any point in which we do a three build again. Yes. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess that's the reality of it. The perils of putting documentation in as part of your build. Yes, true. Um, yeah, so I guess the matter of getting the fix up there and ready. Cool. Which does lead us onward into progress discussion. So I changed the layout of this from last week. I guess this is a little bit different. And the week before it, where I put in the answers. So real quick going through this, people holler if something doesn't look right, uh, at least on the first few bullets. Um, Wix 3.9 finish is uh, Halloween 2014. So that's this year in a month and a half, no, two months. Um, Wix 3.10 starts after that. So you can start putting your pull requests in, but we're not going to take them for 3.10 until after that. Um, you can start putting your pull requests into Wix develop, that is. Wix 3 develop. Um, Wix 4.0 features uh, now It's a good idea. Um, otherwise, they probably won't happen for 4.0, if we're, and we're talking features. Um, and then Wix 4.0 timeline, and I was saying three months because I can't count to the end of the year plus four months, three months stabilization-ish. I don't know, it's kind of what we discussed before-ish, but that means that there's not a lot of time left to do stuff. But hopefully that kind of lays it out for people. So maybe maybe four months dev and three months stabilization just kind of hanging out there. Um, basically, well, get, what, get, get through December, take yeah. advantage of it holiday time? Yeah, so basically 2014, well, no, I'm, I'm yeah, right, people can work through December, right? And then after that, it's kind of like, all right, cool, no more features. We need to kind of right. finish this thing. Because otherwise, if we keep taking features through January, February, it'll be the middle of the year before we release again. Yep. Um, no, I, 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 I like how we've done this in, in 3.9. And we've done it before that way, too, but I think less uh, uh, strictly, perhaps, of, of saying, look, you know, features have to come first. Yep, because they're they're new, and we need to, you know, clamp down at a certain point. Yeah. So, so I think as long as we we document it like we're doing here, I think that's I think that's a fine way to go. Yeah, I think these meetings are doing a much better job of explaining what the heck's going on than we've done in the past. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which is why we keep having them, and which is why we keep having all these wonderful people show up. Which right. I really do appreciate. I don't think I've said that in a while, but I really do appreciate all you guys at this point um, showing up. Um, so anyway, anybody want to wanna holler that this doesn't look right? I'll fix the three-month dev to four-month dev for Rix 4, but otherwise, I still think that this is going to run something like this. Otherwise, 4 is not coming out until the middle of next year, which maybe we want to do, but I'm kind of like, I really don't want to get us back into very long releases if we can avoid. We, getting out of that habit is still something we're trying to do. I'm fine if we're not doing any work on something. We're just kind of letting it settle. That's one thing, right? Just to go, yeah, you know, we're just, we want to get bugs reported and fixed. That's something. But we need to get to a place where we're like, yeah, we're going to do feature dev. Let's do feature dev. I appreciate a bunch of you are like, I just finished all my feature work in 3.9, and now I have to hurry up and do 4. I'm like, well, yeah, or we have to think about what we're doing. Well, so, part of that is, is having parallel development. I mean, you can't avoid that. Sure, yes. not doing parallel development. Yes. Well, and, and I know a lot of people were kind of hung up on getting started in 4 because of the big 3.9 code smush that needed to happen. And that did happen this last week. Took about as long as I guess I thought it was going to take. Um, which is about. Which is longer than, longer than you would have liked? Oh, yes. Well, that's part of the reason why I was having a hard time getting up for doing it. That, and I had a whole bunch of other requirements on my time. So I was like. I really have to be ready to do a whole lot of WTF screaming at my monitor while I try to make everything fit back together. Um, Don't make your monitor feel bad. Yeah. Yeah. Those people aren't here now. In the end, I understood why it was done and how I w you know, was getting there, but there's many times. All right, All right, we need to stop working on three and get four to be a good place so we don't <laughs> have these problems. So anyway... So 
So everybody else has gone to sleep, but I think that's what yeah. we've got. Uh, I, I, you know, the, obviously the three nine and three ten stuff is is good. Um, the only and and we're fine. You know, three ten can quote unquote start before three nine is finished because of the again just I don't know I've mentioned this weeks in a row because of how the branches are set up. We're not blocked on starting three ten um, until Halloween, but you know there won't be three ten builds. There won't you know. Yeah. All that. We won't take the pull um, requests until 3.10. Right, exactly. Which is probably only a big deal if you're trying to write big features, but of course you shouldn't be trying to write big features in 3.10. Exactly. Uh, think of it shouldn't be difficult. The develop branch for 3.9 is going to be the same for 3.10. What will happen when uh, on Halloween when we ship, the develop branch will merge into master, and then with no other changes to the develop branch become the 310 branch. Yep. So pull requests will will you know can hang out until 310 until that merge happens, but otherwise there's no there's nothing happening in the develop branch that says we're switching from 39 to 310. It's the master branch that will get the 39 uh, changes because right now it's 38. That's right. Master is currently 38. Master tracks our last major release from that branch. And since Wix 3 and Wix 4 are in different repos... It all that, works. Yep. Uh, well, there's some advantages, but just having the, the flexibility of not moving stuff around oh, I think is, is, is really good. Well, I, have three, I have three X clones... Just to, just because it's easier for me to remember that way. I, you know, I grew up in old school version control where you have a separate directory for a separate branch. But um, now the actual actual branches, I I think this is going to work well. We'll find out on Halloween. But I, I know for I know one thing it has done is it's gotten people to put the changes in the correct place the first time. <laughs> We don't have crazy pull requests coming against master or whatever, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Now it's like, cool. You just go straight to develop in Wix 3 or you go straight to develop in Wix 4, which is the correct place to be and the appropriate workflow works for people. Anyway, that's what's that. Um, then you can easily... So... Jake was bringing up the point that in one repo you can easily merge between versions, but you can easily merge between separate repos in Git as well, which is what I just did for 3.9. If you look at the 4.0 branch, there's a a, 3, a Wix 3 integration branch that's running in it that just pulls from the Wix 3 develop branch, and then it's, you know, and I just do that just to keep the bookkeeping a little clearer. Um, and merge into Wix 4, and it's no different. It, it, there's no benefit between being in one repo or two repos at that point. It all just. Works. I don't even know you've done that. Oh yeah, I I probably should I should do a screencast or something of how I run the Wix stuff. Just I think some people will probably find it interesting. At least the you know one two three four five of you that are here, six of you that are here. <laughs> Um, it, it would be cool. I'd actually like to see it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. All right. Well, nothing else here. That leads us to questions, comments, other things people want to talk about. I'm going to wait a minute because I have something I want to toss out there if people don't have anything else. So I, I have a question about the Shoot. last slide, actually. Shoot. Uh, we're talking about four months. Yes. Um, how do we want to, s so, uh, I guess my question is, we have features, uh, do you, do you want to talk about a, uh, a timeline for features, i.e., what's the best way for us to make sure that we're not, uh, you know, coming in on Christmas with a bunch of new features barely baked? I, I, I think the statement is 
if that's what if that's what the four months is, right? I mean, and then we'll, the three months after that will be stabilization. If we need longer because the features are destabilizing, we'll take longer. Okay. I I, I I'm, I'm trying to just put a box on it to kind of give people an idea of um, a timeline because you know it's like oh yeah Wix four Wix four has a lot of time Wix four has a lot of time and I finally was like one two three and I counted wrong I said three three months but four four months are kind of like oh there's not a lot of time left that's right that's kind of like go right and we can make a decision if we're like you know we really want this feature and that feature is not going to make it till January well then we could pull that feature in if we really want it and then think about what it means downstream and if everything comes in on you know the week after Christmas, between New Year's and Christmas, then that may mean January is really hard, and then we'll get to the end of January and go, you know what, we're not stabilizing this in two months, so we're, we need to push it out further. But it's just kind of a easy time boxing of going, look, this year, get Wix 4.0 features in, and then we'll be, you know, we'll do some bug fixes and call it good the early next, or middle of the first quarter next year kind of thing. Okay. Um, so yeah, like, and I, after that, I don't want to try to add any more coordination other than give people a idea of, oh, yeah, I really should do that if I want to do something. Right. Whenever that happens in that time frame, yeah, okay, let's do that. Although, if you're doing a feature, we should have a whip. <laughs> you know, yes, we should have yes. some clue as to what's coming in. So we'll be like, it won't be like a surprise. It should not be a surprise, you know, the last week in 2014. And you're like, hey, here's a gigantic feature. And we're like, what's that? <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen. <laughs> Hopefully there's a whip that a whole lot of us go, oh, yeah, that thing. Oh, geez, that thing hasn't come in yet. Is it? Yes. Ooh, we need to think about that, so on and so forth. Hopefully the rest of our processes will, that are lightweight and not overbearing, hopefully, um, <laughs> or that are slightly overbearing, like the whip, add value to other things, make all this stuff work the way you would expect it to. And as always, it's kind of like, here we are, it's the you know kind of putting a stake in the ground, but if we need to change something, kind of speak up or, you know, forever hold your peace or whatever. All right. So with that, um, next thing. Uh, and does anybody else have another question, comment? Because I have a question. So you guys can have to get, you know, break out your keyboards. I know you've been all sitting back, leaning, you know, way back, relaxing. Any other questions, things? All right, so I was wondering if uh, the people here, the people that show up regularly, um, would be interested in if we did a general open question and answer. And this came up because when we were playing, I think after the meeting last week, but with the polls and the Q&A thing. Um, and so part of me wants to try to do a, a Q&A to all Wix users, not Wix devs. So this is Wix devs, but to open a meeting, all Wix users, where we play with the Q&A feature and link and see what we get from people out there, um, from the people that kind of develop the Wix tool set, which I generally consider more like you guys. Um, I think it would be fun. If other people think that would not be fun, then I, I will not try. But I was just thinking it might be fun to do that. Thoughts? All right, well, Sean says interesting. So 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 it would go to Wix users as a join this link meeting. The people that develop Wix tool set, including Rob, Bob, Jacob, Sean, people that have committed most recently, Bruce and a while ago, you know, if he makes it kind of thing, will be around and we'll just generally answer questions that come up and we'll see what I and the questions are questions that people like us would answer. Um, you know. You know, what is Sean's favorite color? We could learn that in this question and answer because that is questions that we would answer. You know, why did this happen? Why doesn't Wix do this? Those kinds of things we could answer. So on. I don't know where it would go from there, um, but I thought it would be, again, fun. But only if people thought it was fun. Bob, uh, it might be interesting. Uh, <laughs> I, I would probably not go so far as to say fun. Um, you don't want to reach out and talk to all the people, all the users? Uh, happy to, but it, it, it sounds like it would turn into a, a, you know, like a 
live IRC channel for support? Uh, well, we could, we could, we could. Well, all right. It's going to be link based, and answers are going to be so wide. So it's going to be, uh, yeah, that sounds like a bug. Go file it, <laughs> um, or things like that. So I, I don't think it would. Um, and, and we could also coach it in going, don't bring your support questions. We'll get them. But we have, and of course, I, I, we're going to have to play with Link, but I'm pretty sure it has a way of moderating the questions so that we don't get, you know, uh, those those ever-present teenagers showing up and putting all kinds of bad words in the stream or whatever. But um, Okay, uh, sorry. I, I, I might have missed it. What, how uh, how did you market this? What, what's What's the purpose of the event? Um, actually, Jacob has, I think, had a nice way of putting it. It's like a fireside chat. It'd be like, hey, you don't talk to us in an informal, a, a more informal setting, right? Because Wix users is like support, right? They don't hang around and say, hey, you know, how long has Bob been working on the Wix tool set? Or, you know, stuff like that. You know, it'd be like, you know, just stuff that people might want to know about the Wix tool set that it's hard to ask on Wix users or doesn't feel relevant on Wix users necessarily that you could ask here. More, I'm thinking probably more irreverent stuff or maybe longer term stuff that we don't necessarily always write down or honestly just to get a feel of what we're thinking, you know, to hear it, talk about it, you know. I know they could go listen to the videos and Wix steps, but it would be different be towards whatever Wix users want to ask. That's more interesting. I, th the goal would be that, not support. It wouldn't be, hey, here's office hours show up. It would be more like, hey, come hang out for a little while. We'd bring beer, but we don't have any um, <laughs> that we can ship to everyone. So I'll, say, I'll have some for this, but yeah, there, okay. That's what will be. It'll be BYOB, <laughs> right? <laughs> Just bring your own. Come hang out. Type questions into our link thingy that we'll figure out by then, and then. Um, <laughs> Uh, and then so on and so forth. Okay, I, I think I think if if it's um, if it's proposed like fireside chat, not office hours. Yeah. Uh, I think that's the that would that would probably that would probably be almost fun. All right. So then and then also maybe put it in as this is fun, not work. Maybe that would be another thing. Okay. Sure. Right, we're not showing up here to do work. We're showing up here to just kind of hang out. Wix barbecue. There you go. Wix virtual Again, barbecue. BYOB works. Uh, <laughs> bring your own barbecue. Hang out. Ask questions. We'll do this for a while until we get bored, kind of thing, and then we'll go from there. All right, I'm in. Um, I just because. <laughs> Uh, Jacob has this. Um, <laughs> Jacob's pointing out a thing that I saw recently. This is 99 pack beer pack or whatever. It's like seriously. And that sounds like targeted college students, but whatever. Um, yeah. So Bruce brings up where the link will work. I I want to do link just because it's the most relevant to stuff I'm doing. Plus it'll help me understand the question answer thing and. I, You'll, most people will be able to use the web plugin. Um, as part of Microsoft MVP, I've been pulled into another of the link meetings that Microsoft hosts for MVPs. Um, and those have been working. Granted, MVPs are Microsoft people, but if you're Wix, you're doing Microsoft Windows related stuff. So I'm kind of like, yeah, just you know, come out and we'll see what happens. Part of it, it could fail miserably, and we'll learn something from that too, but I think it could. It seems like an easy way to go. Plus, it's here. I can do that really easily. Jacob, did we ever find out if you can present and poll at the same time? We found out that you could have the polls and the presentations going, but only one of them could be visible, and only one person could be presenting at a time. So if Bob started presenting stuff, it would remove whatever I had. So that's what we learned. All right, well, I'm going to think about this thing. I think one of the, the hardest parts of this always is finding a time. Right. We'll pick a time that works for us so that we're all around. Um, and then um, other people can show up if they want to. My, ex my, my expectation, I could be wrong, but my expectation is that there's enough other people out there um, 
in the the world that uh, that use the Wix toolset because we have lots of users that even if we get a small percentage of them in some things that will end up with a fair number of people. I mean, I'm guessing, um, assuming it appeals to people, I think it could you know, work. Yes, exactly. We'll we'll do it. I I didn't want to do it if you guys weren't game, but if you guys think it'll be fun and again fun not work and I'll get that messaging, then we'll see what happens. Yeah, and I don't want to skip a dev meeting because I want to keep these time slots for us, not for them. Um, this is this is where we come from dev, which of course if someone wants to join us from that side to this side. And who knows, maybe we'll get enough advertising. Maybe it'll be enough advertising that we can get more people to join us here and we'll be able to more, more progress on Wix 4 and things like that. Could always be a good thing. All right. Well, that's all I have. Um, any other open questions out there? I will probably be looking for a couple of you sometime in the middle of some week before we do this to help me play with the question and answers <laughs> to make sure that we can actually make that system work um, and not fall over dead for us. So like, we'll get John out there to say all kinds of lovely things, and then we'll, we'll see if we can't get a bunch of others doing stuff. All right. On that note, I think that's it. Bob, you have anything else? End of my list. End of your list. All right, then on that note, I think we're done. Have a wonderful rest of your week. I still can't believe it's already Thursday in September, the first week, but it is. So hope you had a good weekend, long weekend. And uh, Wix 3.9 is looking good. Let's go get Wix 4 to be something awesome, too. Uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.